Hey guys, it's Apod Curve King here, and today I'm going to be doing my review of the Incipio Feather Ultralight Hard Shell Case for the Apple iPad 2. Now this case it does sell for $34.99 on Incipio's website, which I will provide a link for you to buy this case down in the description. It comes in colors black, pink, frost, iridescent purple, and iridescent red. However, in this review, I am going to be demonstrating this on the frost color. So now with all that chitter chat away, I'm just going to tell you guys what you get in the box because you do get quite a bag for your buck. You get two great quality screen shields, crystal clear and anti-glare, a smoothie card to apply the screen shield, as well as a cleaning cloth. Now it is worth noting that they also state that it is ultra light, ultra strong polymer and less than one millimeter thin, which I can tell you guys is all true. So now I'm just going to take a quick look at the case before we actually snap it onto the iPad. As you can see, this is a very thin case. It's measuring, like I said, a 1mm thin. So it's not going to offer much as far as drop protection, but it's definitely going to offer, you know, that scratch protection. And it does offer you a screen show so you can protect the glass of the iPad, as well as protecting the back. Now, when I first saw this material, I was going to say, you know what, this is going to be a cheap material. It's not going to be that sturdy. It does bend, however, the material is very strong. Once it's on the iPad, it's not going to bend. It really feels like it offers a pretty good amount of protection, even though it is very thin. So with that aside, I'm just going to get into telling you guys what the porch, how it fits, and all that kind of stuff. So, as you can see up here, it is a very wide open cutout, which I don't really like, to be honest. It does expose some of that metal. However, it is, like I said, made to be a, you know, like I said, a minimalistic kind of case. Uh, you know, not much of the protection side, but it is kind of, you know, awkward when you watch a video. And this is kind of the cold metal hitting your hand, but not a big deal. You have a camera cutout, and then our volume button cutouts are very nice. We have the cutout for the orientation lock, mute, and then the volume up button, volume up and down. On the side, we have nothing right here. Here I have an open cutout for our speaker grill, which is nice. It doesn't interfere at all. It's a pretty big one. And like I said, this is a minimalistic case, so you're not going to take away the usability of the iPad. Down here we have that same traditional, not traditional, but uh, uh, you know, mechanism with the top where it's just open. Like I said, don't really need that, but it's not going to take away any of the usability of the iPad. Like I said, this is a minimalistic case. Side we have nothing. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a it's a pretty, you know, strong piece of polymer, but at the same time, it is very, you know, thin, you know, measures are one millimeter thin, and it's not going to do much as far as drop protecting your iPad that much, but will offer some nice scratch protection at home. And now I'm going to slip the iPad to in the case and show you guys a little bit more of the case. So as far as installation process goes, installing this case on my iPad was really just a breeze. All I have to do is line up all the buttons, button side first, set it in like that. I'll lift this guys up so you can see. Snap it in place. It really couldn't be simpler. Now, right when you see this, it looks like there's no case on my iPad at all. And it really just hugs it very tight, and which I love. You know, it's not going to come off at all. By any means, it's never going to come off. And what I also love is that it does not peel up your screen shield at all. That's one major complaint that I have about tight cases, <laughs> you can see me, uh, is that they really peel up the screen shield, but this one, no interference there. You can rock a screen shield with this case. It'll work just fine. Expected with a thin case, everything's going to be completely open, basically. Uh, your volume buttons, your orientation lock, your camera, like I said previously, the top and the bottom. Everything is cut out. Very great. Very good. There. Uh, that's basically all I can say for this case. It's a great case, totally recommend it. You can buy it for, like I said, $34.99 on the CPU's website. I'll provide a link for you to buy this down in the description. Other than that, guys, hope you had a great day. That's about it, guys. I'm Paul King, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.